at you with our very first DIY video. Yeah, all these ideas are home decor and they're all super easy and affordable. If we can do it, then you can do it. Now on to the video. So for the first DIY, we're gonna be making this rustic Polaroid display board. You wanna start by laying out some paper that you don't mind getting messy. And we got this wooden board from Walmart for around $12. We're also going to be using this matte finished acrylic paint in the shade of brown, some white acrylic paint, and a paintbrush, these mini gold clothespins, and any wooden initial of your choice. This one was from Walmart for about $4. We're going to start off with the brown paint, and you just want to spread that all across the entire board. You don't have to do this part perfect because it's going to have a more rustic feel to it anyways. you want to go ahead and let it dry. Then we're going to take the wooden initial and start painting that with our white acrylic paint. And you might have to add a second coat to this if needed. Once your wooden board is completely dry, you want to go ahead and take a piece of sandpaper and just sand the whole entire piece until you get a more rustic look. Once you get the look that you want, go ahead and take your wooden H and use a hot glue gun to attach it to the board. For the next step, we're going to be attaching the clothespins. It helps if you take your Polaroids out and kind of guess where you want them all to go, and just glue them down with a hot glue gun. And that's it! Just go ahead and fill it out with your favorite Polaroid pictures, and now you have a super cute display. succulent pots. First you will just need a clay pot. We got these at a local plant store for a dollar each. And we're also going to use the plates that go underneath the pot. Your choice of acrylic paint, we're using navy and white. A small paintbrush, a paint pen, and any succulents of your choice. And then you just want to paint about two coats each on each pot. Once the pots are completely dry, you can go ahead and get out your paint pen and paint on any design that you like. it's time to pot the plant. We just started by taking some loose potting soil and filling the pot up about halfway, and then go ahead and put your plant in. These were so fun to make and can really just dress up any area that you put them in. Next, we're gonna be making this Pinterest-inspired yarn hanging wall decor. For this one we are using ready to dye yarn, blue cotton yarn dye, wooden brown dowels, a pair of scissors, and any book that you have to measure out the yarn. The first step is to take your yarn and wrap it around the book about 25 to 30 times. Then you can go ahead and cut that and just push it all together. The yarn should then be in a big loop. You want to go ahead and take a little piece of yarn and just tie off one of the ends. And then take your scissors and cut the loop at the other end, like so. And then there's our first tassel. You want to do this again six times for a total of seven tassels. We put ours on this wooden dowel so it's easier to dye them all together. Then you want to take your dye and fix it up according to the instructions on the package. Our package said to wet the yarn before dyeing. Then we went and gathered our yarn together and dipped it into the dye about four inches. We kept it in there for only 10 seconds. Then we pulled it out halfway to just dye the very end. And we held it there for two minutes. Then we pulled out our yarn and gently squeezed out the excess dye. 
After this, you want to wrap your yarn up in plastic wrap for about 2 hours and then rinse it out until your water runs clear. Our yarn took about 3 days to completely dry. Once they're completely dry, you're going to need another wooden dowel, some yarn, and scissors. Next, you just want to map out where you want your tassels to hang. We did ours in a V shape. Next, you just want to measure your string to attach the tassel to the wooden dowel. We didn't film this part, but we then wrapped yarn around the entire wooden dowel. We also attached a string to hang it on the wall. This DIY took the longest time to make, but it came out so pretty, we all love it. And last but not least, we are also going to be making these rose gold photo frames. We're using this rose gold metallic spray paint. These wooden photo frames that we got at Walmart for $3. And some cute pictures. This part is pretty self-explanatory, but we just took them outside and spray painted one coat of the rose gold metallic paint. These frames turned out so great. We love them and they look a lot more expensive than they actually were. And that concludes today's video. We hope you guys will try out some of these DIYs for your own house. Yep, so don't forget to subscribe and turn on our post notifications. And if you like this video, be sure to give us a thumbs up. See you next time. Bye! Bye.